Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how to swing a glass of water around in a circle. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a glass, water, string, a frisbee, or some type of flat surface, and outdoor space. This is an awesome hands-on physics demonstration. You should give a try. You need some type of uh, flat surface. You can use a board or a cutting board or something like that. I used a frisbee. It was laying around and I wasn't using it. Then you're going to measure out uh, a triangle, three even points to the end, and you want to drill a hole in those three areas I already marked off. And then once we get all three holes marked off and drilled, then we're going to uh, slide the string through. I take one end of the string and tie it in a knot, and then come from the top end of the frisbee and pull all the way through till it hits that knot. Now the link uh, string length I used was from about my waist a little bit below my knees. So everyone's string is going to be a little bit different in size. Uh, there's a number two, here's number three string coming from the top of the frisbee or the back side of the board. Uh, pulling it up, I already have a knot at the end. And make sure your drill bit is smaller than the string, just about the same size as the string. And then you're going to pull up all sides of the string, tie a knot, at the very top of it so it's even. So when you look down, when you pick it up, it's going to be completely even. If it starts to slant, then you've got to retie the knot. Okay, we're going to start off with the frisbee we just made and a glass of water by placing a glass of water in the middle right there. And we're going to back up. All right, so we go back here and now to start it, you kind of want to swing it back and forth just a little bit until you're ready to go and then get that speed going really quick. Uh, continue to keep up the same speed very fast all the way around and coming to the end, you want to stop pretty quick uh, so the water doesn't fall out. That's how it's done. It seems as if the water and the glass are defining gravity, but is it really? No. Gravity is uh, the force pulling down on everything. It's still at work even though the glass and the water is above your head. The water inertia wants to keep the water traveling in a straight path, but the gravity acting on the water causing it to fall downward path and eventually hit Earth. However, while the water is falling, the glass is falling with it and catching the water. What keeps the glass and water moving in a nice circular path that doesn't get wet or messy is the string. The string acts as the centripetal force that pulls the glass and water into the center. But watch out, in order for the glass to keep falling with the water, the glass must travel fast enough to keep up with the water. If you spin the glass too slowly, the water will fall out and you're going to get wet. You know it's not magic that keeps people on roller coasters that are traveling in loops and spirals. It's physics. Try this experiment and see how centripetal force and inertia keep people inside cars while they're traveling upside down. I'm going to try this one more time with a champagne glass to see if there has any difference than just having a regular glass that is completely flat all the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up as I do appreciate when you do that. Remember to subscribe as I do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.